Not all love stories have a happy ending. When Ben and I got back together, it was just like, I want to make music again. It seemed like a fairy tale, but it really wasn't. D-Day was definitely deliberate. A source tells ET J-Lo chose August 20th, the two-year anniversary of their lavish wedding in Georgia, as a way for her to symbolize closing this chapter. I feel like there's a lot of life ahead of me, so I'm, I'm very excited about it. We're also told after a roller coaster of emotion, she is taking the steps she needs to in order to take care of herself. Other big divorce revelations? I ain't never met a man like that. The couple reportedly had no prenup, and J-Lo filed the paperwork herself without a lawyer. I think that what this signifies is that she's in control of this process. She's not going to be bound by Ben. She's not going to be bound by her attorneys. This is her fourth divorce, so this is not a new process to her. We're just two people with kind of different approaches trying to learn to compromise. As for their separation date, J-Lo listed that as April 26th. The pair were on opposite coasts. She was in New York looking heartbroken and carrying a black Hermes bag. Ben was in LA. The meaning of a separation date can vary. Sometimes it refers to the last time that the couple lived together in the same household. Sometimes it refers to some breaking point in the relationship where they broke up or maybe even the last time that the couple was intimate. Looking back at that separation date now, it all makes sense why Ben skipped J-Lo's Atlas premiere 24 days later. And this moment when we asked J-Lo about Benifer's anniversary at the movie's junket. You and Ben are coming up on two years since saying I do in Vegas. Mm -hmm. How has Ben consistently a positive support system for you throughout it all? And is he maybe like helping you train for any of the action movies? No, no, no. I, we, I work on my own. <laughs> <laughs> now let's dig deeper into the timeline of the split and clues of trouble. Things are about to change right here, right here. Their last public appearance together was June 2nd, 37 days after the date of separation, they shared a somewhat awkward kiss on the cheek. Around three weeks earlier, Ben moved out of their shared $60 million blended family estate and into a rental. The two spent the summer mostly on separate coasts, J-Lo in the Hamptons while Ben was in LA. July 11th, they listed their home for sale. July 24th, J-Lo turned 55. Ben did not attend her Bridgerton-themed party. Instead, he was busy closing escrow on a new $20 million Brentwood bachelor pad. This as they kept everyone guessing on the relationship status by periodically wearing their wedding rings. Of course, in February, two months before the separation, J-Lo was hyping up their romance in her doc, The Greatest Love Story Never Told. Half the time I was thinking like, this is amazing. And then half of the time I was like, why are you doing this? The 86 minute look into the relationship dropped a few red flags, revealing some pretty deep seated issues, especially when it came to social media. Getting back together, I said, listen, one of the things I don't want is a relationship on social media. Listen. As we got back together, I don't think he ever thought again it would lead to the film and doc and all that kind of stuff, but he embraced it as well. Clearly, J-Lo thrives in the spotlight. Ben, yeah, not so much. The internet had a field day with grumpy Ben memes. Why are people always worried about what face Ben has on? You don't need to worry about Ben. Let me just tell you, he is good. The big question now that there seems to be no prenup, how will they divide their fortune? J-Lo has way more on the line with an estimated net worth of $400 million compared to Ben's $150 million. With this amount of wealth, getting married without a prenup is like doing a corporate merger with a handshake. Uh, it, you just don't do it. it. Typically, the rule for dividing assets in a divorce is that you keep what you had coming into the marriage and you divide what you accumulated during the marriage. If the house is sold as part of the divorce, it's usually not required that the court split that asset 50-50. And here's where things could get awkward. Ben and Matt Damon produced two of J-Lo's upcoming films, the musical Kiss of the Spider Woman wrapped in June. I just finished a movie called right. Kiss of the Spider Woman where it was all singing and dancing and everything. Oh, wow. I'm yeah, like the yeah, thinnest yeah. I've ever been. I was like, yeah. it's like I'm, I'm like in fighting shape right I now. Am. On September 6th, their sports drama Unstoppable is set to premiere at the Toronto International Film Festival. No word yet on who will attend. You have Unstoppable coming up. What can you tell me about that? It's an incredible story, but it's not like 
artificial or cheesy or fake. It's really moving. Obviously, uh, a very, his very famous spouse is, uh, is, 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 is he's got a great role in it. That, the genius that is Ben Affleck. Whatever he asked me to do, I'm like, yeah, okay, sure, I'll be there.